transforming pain into power, a journey of understanding, healing, and empowerment copyright symbol September, 2023 Glow Teaser Transforming Pain into Power, a journey of understanding, healing, and empowerment invites you to embark on a profound exploration of the human experience. In the pages of this transformative journey, you will delve deep into the realms of self-discovery, healing, and personal empowerment. Through candid and heartfelt storytelling, this book unveils the author's remarkable odyssey from pain and adversity to profound self-awareness and strength. Drawing on the power of choice, forgiveness, and gratitude, you'll discover how past wounds can become sources of wisdom and resilience. With practical exercises, inspiring insights, and a roadmap for personal growth, this book empowers you to uncover your unique path to authenticity and fulfillment. Transforming pain into power is a testament to the enduring capacity of the human spirit to transcend suffering and emerge as a beacon of light and hope in the world. Introduction In the quiet moments of introspection, we often find ourselves gazing upon the turbulent river of our own lives. Its currents, sometimes gentle and other times fierce, carry us forward through the vast landscape of experiences. It's within this metaphorical river that I've come to understand my own journey, and it's here that I invite you to embark on a transformative exploration with me. Setting the Stage, Your Unique Perspective on Personal Transformation Wisconsin, a land of natural beauty and changeable seasons, has been my home. Here, amidst the serene landscapes and the changing hues of autumn, I've discovered a unique perspective on personal transformation. But this journey isn't limited by geographical boundaries, it's a universal quest we all embark upon, regardless of our physical location. My journey, like yours, is marked by the ebb and flow of life's challenges and triumphs. It's a journey that traverses the realms of self-help, metaphysics, and the profound understanding of our own existence but it's also a journey rooted in the core values of reality and joy. I perceive reality as a flowing river of joy, most vibrant at its heart, where swiftness reigns. As we move towards the outer edges, optimism and contentment gently embrace us. Yet, there lies a transition into shallowness as we reach the edges, where cold-heartedness has frozen the once flowing waters. Here. The frigid patches manifest as tiny ice cubes of sadness, while the larger masses take shape as icebergs of anger. And as we approach the bank's icy walls, the formidable barrier of fear stands resolute. Amid this intricate landscape, it's essential to recognize that all these facets, whether solid or fluid, are ultimately components of the same current of joy, a positive intent that guides us through life's complex terrain. In the exploration of my own journey, I've come to understand that personal transformation is not just a solitary endeavor, it's a process that can resonate with and help others on their own paths. It's this understanding that compels me to share my story, to illuminate the path I've walked, and to offer insights that may aid you in navigating your own river of life. As we embark on this journey together, I encourage you to embrace your own unique perspective on personal transformation. Our experiences may differ, but the underlying currents of growth, resilience, and the pursuit of joy are universal. Together, we'll navigate the waters of self-discovery and empowerment, finding strength in the knowledge that transformation is not only possible but also a gift we can choose to embrace. Let the journey begin. The flow of energy, introducing the concept of energy transfer our journey begins with a fundamental concept that underlies the very essence of our existence, energy. Imagine, if you will, that life is not just a collection of moments and experiences but a dynamic interplay of energies, flowing and intertwining like a grand symphony. Energy, as I've come to understand it, is the currency of life itself. It's the unseen force that propels us forward, shapes our actions, 
and molds our perceptions. It's the river within the river, the current within the current, and the very essence of our being. But here's where our journey takes a unique turn. Instead of viewing energy solely as a personal resource, I've learned to see it as something far more profound, a gift, a transfer of joy, and a universal force that connects us all. In the early stages of my journey, I, like many, saw my life as a series of events, some joyful and others painful. I saw the people I encountered as separate from me, each with their own reservoir of emotions and intentions. It was a fragmented view of existence, one that left me feeling isolated and adrift in the river of life. Then, like a veil lifting, I began to perceive a deeper truth, the flow of energy that connects us all. I realized that our actions, emotions, and even our thoughts are not isolated phenomena but rather ripples in this vast river of energy. Every interaction, every word spoken, and every emotion felt is part of a grand exchange of energy. It was this realization that led me to understand that the perceived abuse I experienced in my life was not just a negative event but an intricate transfer of energy. It was their highest expression of joy at the time, a sharing of their energy with me, whether they were aware of it or not. It was, in its essence, a gift. This perspective challenged the conventional narratives of victimhood and blame. It urged me to look beyond the surface of actions and behaviors and see the intentions that underpinned them. It allowed me to view even the most challenging moments of my life as opportunities for growth, transformation, and a deeper connection with the universal flow of energy. As we embark on this journey of understanding and empowerment, I invite you to open your heart and mind to the concept of energy transfer. It's a paradigm shift that can alter the way you perceive your own experiences and interactions. It's a lens through which you can see the beauty and complexity of life in a new light. In the chapters that follow, we'll delve deeper into the intricacies of energy transfer, exploring how it shapes our behaviors, relationships, and the very essence of our existence. We'll uncover the power that lies within recognizing this flow of energy and how it can be harnessed to transform pain into power, adversity into growth and darkness into light. Let the exploration of energy, and its profound implications for our lives, commence. The gift of neutral energy, understanding the initial intent behind perceived abuse in our journey through the river of life, we've explored the concept of energy transfer and its profound impact on our existence. Now, let's delve deeper into a perspective that might challenge your preconceived notions. The idea that what we perceive as abuse can, in fact, be a gift of neutral energy. It's a notion that might initially raise eyebrows and provoke skepticism. After all, how can something as painful and distressing as abuse be seen as a gift? To unravel this paradox, we must venture beyond the surface of actions and behaviors and peer into the intentions that underlie them. At the core of this perspective is the understanding that every individual, regardless of their actions, seeks joy in their life. It's a universal desire, an innate longing that unites us all. It's the essence of our existence, the heartbeat of our shared humanity. Consider for a moment the notion that those who, from an external perspective, appear to have inflicted harm or abuse upon us were, in their own way, seeking joy. Their actions, while appearing negative or hurtful, were driven by their own understanding of what would bring them happiness at that moment. It's a perspective that requires detachment, the ability to step back from the emotions and judgments that often cloud our view. Instead of seeing these actions as personal attacks, we can begin to see them as expressions of individuals who, in their own perception, were trying to find their own happiness. The energy they transferred to us, although it might have been experienced as painful or challenging, was not inherently negative. It was, in its essence, neutral energy, an untamed force waiting to be harnessed. 
it was like a raw material, waiting for the hands of a skilled artisan to shape it into something beautiful. In my own journey, this perspective was a revelation. It allowed me to move beyond resentment and anger, beyond the labels of victim and perpetrator. I began to see the individuals who had crossed my path not as villains but as fellow travelers in the river of life, each trying to navigate their own currents of joy. Now, you might wonder, how does understanding the initial intent behind perceived abuse change anything? The answer lies in the transformation of your perception. When you recognize that the energy transferred to you was, at its core, a quest for joy, it empowers you to decide how to use that energy. It's a shift from being a passive recipient of circumstances to becoming an active creator of your reality. You hold the brush, and the canvas of your life is yours to paint. You can choose to shape that neutral energy into something beautiful, something that aligns with your own vision of joy and fulfillment. In the chapters that follow, we'll delve deeper into this concept of neutral energy and how you can harness it for your own transformation. We'll explore practical techniques and insights that will enable you to navigate the waters of your past experiences with a newfound sense of purpose and empowerment. As we continue our journey, remember that the initial intent behind perceived abuse is not a justification for hurtful actions. It's a perspective that invites understanding and compassion, both for yourself and for those who have crossed your path. It's an invitation to transform pain into power and to embark on a path of healing and self-discovery. The gift of neutral energy awaits ready to be unwrapped and transformed into a source of boundless strength and joy. Purpose of the book, exploring your transformative journey and its implications for others understanding your transformative journey at its core. This book is an intimate exploration of my own life, a journey that has taken me through the turbulent waters of perceived abuse, the transformation of neutral energy, and the conscious expression of this newfound power. It's a narrative that unfolds against the backdrop of personal growth, self-realization, and the evolving perception of reality and joy. By sharing my experiences, struggles, and revelations, my hope is that you, the reader, will find resonance and insight in your own journey. Each of us carries a unique story, but the underlying currents of our lives are remarkably similar. It's in the recognition of these shared currents that we find solace, knowing that we are not alone in our quest for understanding and empowerment. As you read through the pages that follow, I encourage you to reflect on your own life's journey. Consider the moments of challenge and triumph, of pain and joy, and how they have shaped you into the person you are today. Your transformative journey is a tapestry of experiences woven together by the threads of your choices, your perceptions, and the energy that flows through you. Implications for others beyond the exploration of my own journey, this book aims to shed light on the broader implications of recognizing the gift of neutral energy and the potential for personal transformation. It's a call to action, an invitation for all those who have experienced adversity or challenge to reconsider their own narratives. In the chapters that follow, we'll dive deep into the concept of energy transfer, understanding the intentions behind perceived abuse, and the transformative power of conscious expression. You'll find practical insights, exercises, and tools to help you navigate your own river of life with clarity, purpose, and resilience. But this journey is not a solitary one. It's an opportunity to connect with others who may be on similar paths, to extend a hand of support, and to illuminate the way for those who seek a deeper understanding of their own experiences. It's a reminder that transformation is not only possible but also within reach for anyone willing to embark on the journey. As we explore these profound concepts together, my aspiration is that you will find inspiration, guidance, and a renewed sense of purpose.
It's my belief that by understanding the transformative potential of our experiences and the energy that flows through us, we can not only heal ourselves but also contribute to a more compassionate and empathetic world. So, dear reader, I invite you to embrace this journey with an open heart and an inquisitive mind. Let us embark on this exploration of personal transformation, armed with the knowledge that we hold the power to transform pain into power, adversity into growth, and darkness into light. Together, we shall navigate the currents of life's river, seeking the ever-elusive shores of understanding, healing, and empowerment. Chapter 1 Unearthing the Past In this inaugural chapter of our journey, we begin with a fundamental exploration of how our past experiences have a profound and lasting impact on our lives. Like archaeologists sifting through layers of history, we'll uncover the hidden gems and buried treasures that shape our present reality. The Veil of Unconsciousness how past experiences can shape our lives Imagine for a moment that your life is like an intricate tapestry woven from countless threads of experience. Each thread represents a moment, an event, a relationship, both joyous and challenging. These threads, though seemingly separate, are inextricably intertwined, creating a rich and complex mosaic that is uniquely yours. Yet. Beneath the vibrant surface of this tapestry lies a veil, one that shrouds the depths of our consciousness. It's a veil woven from the very fabric of our past, from the experiences and emotions that have left their indelible marks on our souls. It's this veil that often obscures our understanding of why we think, feel, and act the way we do. In my own journey, this veil was a constant presence casting shadows on my perception of reality and joy. Like a foggy window, it distorted my view of the world, making it challenging to discern the true essence of my experiences. I lived my life, making choices and navigating the currents of existence, all while unaware of the deeper currents that lay beneath the surface. It's a common human experience, to be unconscious of the very forces that shape our lives. We move through our days, driven by habits, beliefs, and emotional responses that are, in many cases, remnants of past experiences. These experiences, often stored in the recesses of our subconscious minds, become the invisible architects of our present reality. As we begin our journey of unearthing the past, it's crucial to recognize that this process is not about dwelling in the shadows of the past or assigning blame for our present circumstances. Instead, it's an opportunity to shed light on the hidden corners of our consciousness, to understand the roots of our behaviors and reactions, and to take conscious control of our narrative. In the chapters that follow, we'll delve deeper into the layers of our past experiences exploring how they have shaped our beliefs, our relationships, and our perceptions of reality and joy. We'll navigate the currents of unconsciousness with the intention of bringing our hidden truths to the surface, not as relics of the past but as tools for personal growth and transformation. So, dear reader, I invite you to embark on this journey of self-discovery with an open heart and a willingness to confront the veiled aspects of your own consciousness. Together, we shall uncover the threads of your tapestry, understanding how they've woven the intricate patterns of your life. Through this process, we shall illuminate the path to a deeper understanding of ourselves and the power to shape our future with conscious intention. Remembering the abuse the catalyst for self-discovery in the tapestry of our lives, certain threads are woven with darker hues, casting shadows upon our existence. These threads, while painful to touch, are essential elements of our journey. They challenge us to confront the past, to unravel the mysteries of our experiences, and ultimately, to discover the depths of our own resilience. The unsettling shroud of forgetfulness for many of us, the past can be a realm shrouded in forgetfulness. It's as if certain memories, especially those associated with pain or trauma, 
are buried deep within the recesses of our minds. These memories, wrapped in an unsettling shroud of forgetfulness, remain hidden from our conscious awareness. The reasons for this amnesia are varied and complex. Sometimes, our minds instinctively shield us from the overwhelming emotions that accompany traumatic events. Other times, societal or familial pressures encourage us to bury painful memories, pretending they never existed. Regardless of the cause, this veil of forgetfulness can obscure our path to self-discovery. The unraveling of the past, remembering the abuse in the midst of this fog of forgetfulness, there comes a moment, a moment when a long-buried memory begins to stir. It's a moment of awakening, a recognition that there are fragments of our past that demand our attention, that beckon us to confront the pain we have hidden from ourselves. For me, that moment came as a wave of emotion, an unbidden recollection of past experiences that had been locked away for years. The memories, like shards of glass, pierced the veil of forgetfulness, bringing with them a surge of emotions and questions that could no longer be ignored. The catalyst for this awakening was the remembrance of abuse, a word that carries weight, conjuring images of pain, fear, and injustice. But as I ventured into the depths of these memories, I began to see them through a different lens, one that revealed not only the darkness of the past but also the potential for transformation. The paradox of remembering remembering the abuse is a paradoxical journey, one that involves confronting the pain of the past while simultaneously recognizing its role as a catalyst for self-discovery. It's a journey that challenges our preconceived notions of victimhood and empowerment, inviting us to redefine our relationship with our own experiences. As we delve deeper into this chapter, we'll explore the complexities of remembering the abuse. We'll navigate the turbulent waters of emotion, facing the ghosts of our past with courage and compassion. We'll unravel the threads of forgetfulness seeking the truths they hold and the lessons they offer. Ultimately, the act of remembering is an act of reclamation. It's the reclamation of our own narrative, the recognition of our own resilience, and the understanding that our experiences, both painful and joyful, have shaped us into the individuals we are today. So, dear reader, I invite you to embark on this chapter of our journey a chapter that may stir uncomfortable emotions, yet one that holds the promise of self-discovery and transformation. Together, we shall navigate the currents of memory, shedding light on the past and paving the way for a more empowered future. The Locked Energy, exploring the concept of hidden potential in our quest for self-discovery and understanding, we've journeyed through the veils of unconsciousness and unraveled the shroud of forgetfulness. Now, as we continue our exploration, we come to a concept of profound significance, the notion of locked energy. It's an energy that has been stored within us, often for years, waiting for the key to unlock its boundless potential. The reservoir within imagine your inner self as a reservoir, an intricate system of emotions, experiences, and untapped potential. This reservoir, though vast and deep, is not always readily accessible. Certain experiences, especially those associated with trauma or adversity, can cause the floodgates to close, trapping the energy within. This trapped energy is like a dormant volcano, waiting for the right conditions to awaken its fiery power. It's not inherently negative or positive, it's simply potential, a source of strength, creativity, and transformation that has been held in reserve, awaiting the moment when it can be harnessed for growth and healing. The catalyst for transformation for many, the catalyst for unlocking this hidden potential is the act of remembering and confronting the past, particularly experiences of abuse or trauma. These memories, once veiled in forgetfulness, carry with them not only the weight of pain but also the power to ignite transformation. In my own journey, 
as I revisited and remembered the abuse I had endured, I began to sense the presence of this locked energy. It was as if the act of remembering had cracked open a door within me, allowing a glimmer of light to penetrate the darkness. I could feel the energy stirring, like a slumbering giant awakening from a deep sleep. It's a pivotal moment in the transformative journey, one that invites us to recognize that the very pain we've carried for so long is not a burden but a reservoir of untapped strength. The locked energy, once seen through the lens of potential, becomes a source of empowerment and healing. Navigating the depths exploring the concept of locked energy is akin to embarking on a deep sea expedition. It requires courage and a willingness to navigate the depths of our own consciousness. We may encounter submerged memories, emotional currents, and hidden treasures that have long been obscured from view. As we delve deeper into this concept, we'll explore the ways in which locked energy manifests in our lives. We'll learn to recognize its presence in our emotions, our behaviors, and our relationships. And most importantly, we'll uncover practical techniques for unlocking this energy, for channeling it into positive and transformative avenues. The journey of unlocking hidden potential is not without its challenges, but it holds the promise of profound growth and self-realization. It's an invitation to reclaim the power that has been locked away for too long, to transform pain into power and to harness the boundless potential that resides within each of us. So, dear reader, I invite you to embark on this exploration of locked energy with an open heart and a sense of anticipation. Together, we shall navigate the depths of our inner reservoirs, unlocking the potential that has been waiting patiently for the right moment to shine. The journey begins. The significance of self-awareness in our exploration of hidden potential and the unlocking of energy, we've embarked on a journey of profound self-discovery and transformation. Now, as we step further into this transformative process, we come to a pivotal point, the significance of self-awareness. It's the lantern that guides us through the darkness of our inner depths, illuminating the path to empowerment and growth. The beacon of self-awareness imagines self-awareness as a beacon of light, shining its gentle glow on the uncharted territories of our inner landscape. It's the act of turning our gaze inward, of peering into the depths of our consciousness, and of recognizing the thoughts, emotions, and patterns that shape our lives. Self-awareness is not a passive state but an active practice, a commitment to self-exploration and introspection. It's the willingness to observe our thoughts without judgment, to embrace our emotions with compassion, and to question the beliefs that have been ingrained in our psyche. In my own journey, self-awareness was the compass that guided me through the turbulent waters of remembering abuse and unlocking hidden potential. It allowed me to navigate the depths of my emotions, to acknowledge the pain without becoming engulfed by it and to recognize the patterns that had been holding me back. The power of self-reflection self-awareness is a powerful tool for transformation because it invites us to become the observers of our own lives. It encourages us to step outside the flow of our experiences and to look at them from a vantage point of detachment. In doing so, we gain clarity and insight into the intricate workings of our inner world. Through self-reflection, we begin to see the threads of our past experiences, the patterns of our reactions, and the beliefs that have shaped our reality. We can trace the currents of our emotions back to their source, understanding how they've been influenced by the energy transfer of our past. Self-awareness also allows us to recognize our own agency, the power we have to choose our responses and to shape our narratives. It's an invitation to take conscious control of our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, redirecting them in alignment with our vision of empowerment and growth. The journey of self-discovery as we delve deeper into the significance of self-awareness, we must acknowledge that this journey is not without its challenges. It requires courage to confront our own truths, 
to acknowledge our vulnerabilities, and to question long-held beliefs. Yet, it's through self-awareness that we begin to unveil the layers of our authenticity. We shed the masks we've worn to conform to societal expectations, revealing our true selves, the selves that have been waiting patiently for recognition and expression. The journey of self-discovery is a profound and ongoing process, one that invites us to continually deepen our understanding of ourselves. It's a journey that empowers us to transform pain into power, adversity into growth, and darkness into light. So, dear reader, I invite you to embrace the significance of self-awareness as we continue our exploration of personal transformation. Together, we shall navigate the inner currents of our consciousness, using self-awareness as our guiding light, and uncover the profound depths of our own resilience and potential. Chapter 2, From Revenge to Redemption Acting Out, Misunderstood Expressions of Energy In this chapter, we delve into a transformative phase of the journey, one that explores the concept of acting out. It's a phase marked by misunderstood expressions of energy, a tumultuous period where the currents of our past experiences manifest in ways that may be confusing and challenging. Acting out Misunderstood expressions of energy acting out is a term often associated with disruptive or harmful behaviors, particularly in the context of children or adolescents. It's a concept that implies a lack of control, a rebellion against societal norms, and an expression of pent-up emotions. But what if we were to look beyond the surface and recognize that acting out is not solely a negative or destructive phenomenon? What if, at its core, it represents a raw and unfiltered release of energy, a desperate attempt to dissipate the emotional turmoil that lies beneath? In my own journey, the phase of acting out was a turbulent period marked by behaviors that seemed inexplicable at the time. It was a time when I felt overwhelmed by the surge of emotions and memories that had resurfaced. In the absence of guidance and understanding, these emotions found their way into my actions, often in ways that were destructive and hurtful. Yet, as I reflect upon this phase, I can now see it as a misunderstood expression of the energy I was grappling with. It was not a desire for revenge or a conscious intent to harm others, as it might have appeared from an external perspective. Instead, it was a desperate attempt to find relief to discharge the energy that had been locked within me for so long. The ripple effect of misunderstanding one of the challenges of the acting out phase is the ripple effect it can create in our lives and relationships. When our behaviors are misunderstood, it can lead to strained connections, fractured trust, and a deep sense of isolation. From the outside, it may seem as though we are intentionally causing harm or disruption. However, it's essential to recognize that beneath the surface, there is often a struggle, a battle between the past and the present, between the locked energy of our memories and the desire to find release. Understanding the acting out phase as a misunderstood expression of energy is a crucial step toward healing and transformation. It allows us to reframe our actions, not as intentional harm, but as a cry for help, a plea for understanding and a desperate attempt to navigate the inner currents of our consciousness. The path from revenge to redemption as we delve deeper into this chapter, we'll explore the intricacies of the acting out phase. We'll learn to recognize its signs, both in ourselves and in others. We'll also uncover strategies for navigating this tumultuous period with compassion and self-awareness. Ultimately, the journey from revenge to redemption is one that invites us to transform the misunderstood expressions of energy into a path of healing and growth. It's a journey of self-discovery and self-compassion, recognizing that our actions, however chaotic or destructive, are rooted in a deeper longing for understanding and release. So, dear reader, I invite you to explore this transformative phase with an open heart and a willingness to look beyond the surface. Together, we shall navigate the turbulent waters of acting out, 
shedding light on the misunderstood expressions of energy and finding the path that leads from revenge to redemption. The misguided pursuit of justice, transforming negative feelings into understanding as we continue our exploration of the acting out phase, we come to a critical juncture, a phase characterized by what might be seen as the misguided pursuit of justice. It's a phase where negative feelings, often fueled by past experiences, manifest as a fervent quest for what we believe to be retribution or fairness. The urge for justice The concept of justice is deeply ingrained in our collective psyche. It's the belief that wrongs should be righted, that those who have caused harm should be held accountable, and that fairness should prevail. It's a noble and essential principle in society one that seeks to ensure equity and protect the vulnerable. Yet, in the context of personal transformation, the pursuit of justice can take on a different form, one that is often driven by negative emotions such as anger, resentment, and a desire for revenge. It's when our past experiences, particularly those of abuse or trauma, fuel a fervent need to see those who have wronged us suffer in return. In my own journey, I experienced this phase as a tumultuous period of anger and resentment. It was as if the memories of abuse had ignited a fire within me, an intense desire to see justice served, to make those who had hurt me understand the depth of my pain. The transformation of negative feelings however, as I ventured further into this phase, I began to realize that the pursuit of justice, as driven by negative emotions, was a futile endeavor. It was as if I were pouring fuel onto the very fire that was consuming me from within. The negative feelings, instead of leading to understanding or resolution, only deepened the cycle of anger and pain. It was a pivotal moment of realization, a recognition that the misguided pursuit of justice was not leading me closer to healing or empowerment. Instead, it was keeping me tethered to the past preventing me from moving forward on my transformative journey. In this chapter, we explore the complexities of this phase, recognizing that the desire for justice is a natural response to the pain we've experienced. However, we also come to understand that true transformation requires a shift in perspective, a willingness to transform negative feelings into understanding, compassion, and ultimately, forgiveness. The path to understanding the path from the misguided pursuit of justice to a deeper understanding is not an easy one. It requires courage to confront our own negative emotions and the pain we carry. It demands a willingness to question the narratives we've held about our experiences and those who have hurt us. But it's a path that leads to liberation, a liberation from the chains of anger and resentment, a liberation from the grip of the past and a liberation that allows us to reclaim our own power and agency. As we navigate this phase, I invite you, dear reader, to consider the transformative potential of understanding. It's a shift in perspective that can release us from the burden of negative emotions and propel us forward on our journey toward healing and empowerment. Together, we shall explore the depths of our own emotions and discover the path that leads from the misguided pursuit of justice to a place of profound understanding and compassion. Neutral Energy Unleashed Recognizing the true nature of the energy transfer in our exploration of personal transformation, we've journeyed through the layers of unconsciousness, the veil of forgetfulness, and the phases of acting out and seeking justice. Now, we arrive at a critical point in our journey, one that revolves around the recognition of the true nature of the energy transfer. The energy transfer revisited we've previously discussed the concept of energy transfer, acknowledging that every action, even those we perceive as negative or hurtful, is driven by a desire for joy. It's a profound perspective that challenges our conventional understanding of actions and their intent. Now, it's time to revisit this concept with a deeper understanding. The energy transfer is not merely a theoretical construct but a fundamental truth of our existence. It's the recognition that, at their core, 
all individuals seek joy and connection, even if their actions may appear otherwise. In the context of personal transformation, recognizing the true nature of the energy transfer is a pivotal step. It allows us to move beyond judgments and labels, beyond the roles of victim and perpetrator, and into a space of profound understanding and compassion. Neutral Energy the raw material of transformation at the heart of the energy transfer lies a concept of neutral energy, an untamed force that can be shaped into any form. It's like raw clay in the hands of a sculptor, waiting to be molded into a work of art. This neutral energy is neither inherently negative nor positive, it's simply potential, a reservoir of power that can be harnessed for transformation. In my own journey, Recognizing this neutral energy was a revelation. It allowed me to see the memories of abuse not as scars of victimhood but as the raw material of transformation. It shifted my perspective from one of resentment and anger to one of empowerment and choice. This shift is not about denying the pain or the injustice of past experiences. Instead, it's about reclaiming our power the power to decide how we will use the energy that has been transferred to us. It's a shift from being passive recipients of circumstances to becoming active creators of our reality. The unleashing of neutral energy as we delve deeper into this chapter, we'll explore practical techniques and insights for unleashing the power of neutral energy. We'll learn to recognize its presence in our lives its influence on our emotions and behaviors, and its potential for transformation. The journey of personal transformation is not about erasing the past or denying the pain we've experienced. Instead, it's about recognizing that the energy transfer, however challenging or hurtful, can be transformed into a source of strength, resilience, and empowerment. So, dear reader, I invite you to embrace this phase of our journey with an open heart and a sense of anticipation. Together, we shall explore the depths of neutral energy, recognizing it as the raw material of transformation and the key to unlocking our own potential for healing, growth, and empowerment. The Healing Power of Perception How your perspective evolved in the course of our transformative journey We've navigated the complexities of unconsciousness, the fog of forgetfulness, and the tumultuous phases of acting out, seeking justice, and recognizing the true nature of the energy transfer. Now, we arrive at a pivotal juncture, one that centers on the healing power of perception and how your perspective has evolved. The lens of perception Our perception of reality is like a lens through which we view the world. It shapes our thoughts, emotions, and actions, influencing our understanding of ourselves and others. As we journey through life, this lens undergoes a continuous evolution, adapting and shifting in response to our experiences and insights. In my own transformative journey, I witnessed a profound shift in my perception a transformation from viewing the past as a source of pain and victimization to understanding it as a wellspring of empowerment and growth. This shift was not a sudden revelation but a gradual process, a journey of self-discovery that altered the way I saw myself and the world around me. The evolution of perspective The evolution of perspective is not a linear path but a dynamic and multifaceted process. It involves the shedding of old beliefs and narratives that no longer serve us and the adoption of new, empowering perspectives that align with our transformative journey. Throughout this journey, we may encounter moments of resistance, self-doubt, and uncertainty. We may question the validity of our evolving perspective and grapple with the pool of familiar, albeit limiting, narratives. Yet, it's precisely in these moments of questioning that our perception has the potential to expand and grow. The healing power of perception The healing power of perception lies in its ability to transform pain into purpose, adversity into growth, and darkness into light. It's a recognition that our perspective shapes our reality, and by shifting our perspective, 
we have the power to reshape our experiences. As we explore this phase, we'll delve into the practical aspects of evolving one's perspective. We'll uncover tools and techniques for shifting our lens of perception, allowing us to see the gifts in our challenges, the opportunities in our struggles, and the potential for healing in our pain. The journey of perception is an invitation to become conscious architects of our own reality, to embrace the healing power of perspective, and to recognize that our transformative journey is not merely a series of events but a profound shift in how we perceive ourselves and the world. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own journey of perception. How has your perspective evolved over time, and what insights have you gained? Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that the healing power of perception is a beacon that guides us toward a brighter, more empowered future. Chapter 3, The Conscious Expression Unconscious Acts, Understanding the Patterns of Behavior In this pivotal chapter of our transformative journey, we shift our focus to the concept of the conscious expression a phase that invites us to understand and reshape the patterns of behavior that have been ingrained in our lives. Unconscious Acts Understanding the patterns of behavior Unconscious acts are like well-worn grooves in the record of our lives. They are patterns of behavior that we engage in automatically, often without conscious awareness. These patterns are shaped by our past experiences, our beliefs, and the energy transfer we've explored throughout our journey. In my own life, unconscious acts were the default responses that had been imprinted upon me by the memories of abuse and the misunderstood expressions of energy. These acts were like scripts I had unknowingly been following, dictating my reactions and choices. The power of awareness One of the keys to conscious expression is the power of awareness. It's the act of becoming conscious of our unconscious acts, a recognition that we have the ability to observe our behaviors, thoughts, and emotions without judgment. Awareness is the first step in breaking free from the grip of unconscious patterns. It allows us to shine a light on the grooves in the record, revealing the repetitive nature of our actions. With awareness, we gain the opportunity to pause reflect, and choose a different response. Reframing the narrative conscious expression also involves reframing the narrative we hold about ourselves and our behaviors. It's about recognizing that our past does not define us and that we have the power to choose how we respond to life's challenges. This reframing process is not about erasing the past but about reclaiming our agency and authorship over our lives. It's an invitation to become conscious creators of our reality, no longer bound by the scripts of the past. The journey to conscious expression As we delve deeper into this chapter, we'll explore practical techniques for fostering conscious expression. We'll learn to identify and challenge our unconscious patterns, allowing us to make choices that align with our vision of empowerment and growth. The journey to conscious expression is an ongoing process, one that requires patience, self-compassion, and a willingness to embrace change. It's a journey that empowers us to rewrite the script of our lives, to transform unconscious acts into conscious choices, and to step into a brighter and more intentional future. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own patterns of behavior, your unconscious acts and the power of awareness in your life. Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that conscious expression is the bridge that leads from the past to a future of our own creation. Choosing consciousness, embracing your power to decide in our journey through the chapter on conscious expression, we've explored the patterns of unconscious acts and the transformative power of awareness. Now, we delve into a critical aspect of this phase, choosing consciousness. It's an invitation to embrace your innate power to decide how you respond to life's challenges and shape your reality. 
The intersection of awareness and choice awareness is the first step on the path to conscious expression. It's the act of shining a light on our unconscious patterns and behaviors, bringing them into the realm of conscious awareness. But awareness alone is not enough. To truly transform our lives, we must also recognize our power to choose. Choosing consciousness means acknowledging that, in every moment, we have the ability to decide how we respond to the world around us. It's the realization that we are not slaves to our past or our conditioning but active participants in the unfolding of our lives. Breaking the chains of reaction unconscious acts often function as knee-jerk reactions to external stimuli. They are automatic responses shaped by our past experiences and the energy transfer we've explored. These reactions can keep us trapped in a cycle of repetition, preventing us from making choices that align with our true desires. Conscious expression involves breaking free from these chains of reaction. It's about creating a space between stimulus and response, a space where we can pause, reflect, and make a conscious choice about how we want to engage with the world. The power of intention Intention is a potent force in choosing consciousness. It's the deliberate setting of our internal compass, a declaration of our values, desires, and aspirations. When we set a conscious intention for how we want to show up in the world, it becomes our guiding star, leading us toward the choices that align with our vision. Intention also has the power to infuse our actions with purpose and meaning. It transforms mundane tasks into opportunities for growth and connection. It turns everyday interactions into conscious expressions of our values. The journey of choosing consciousness The journey of choosing consciousness is not without its challenges. It requires practice, self-compassion, and a willingness to confront the discomfort of change. But it's a journey that leads to profound transformation and empowerment. As we continue exploring this phase, we'll delve into practical techniques for cultivating conscious choice in your life. We'll learn to recognize the moments when you can exercise your power to decide, and we'll explore the impact of intention on your actions. Choosing consciousness is an invitation to become an active author of your life's story, to rewrite the script of your past, and to step into a future of your own creation. It's a journey that empowers you to respond to life's challenges with wisdom, grace, and intention. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own journey of choosing consciousness. How have you exercised your power to decide in the face of challenges? Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that the path of conscious expression is a path of empowerment and self-determination. Navigating change, the challenges and rewards of conscious expression in our exploration of conscious expression and the power of choosing consciousness, we come to a critical juncture. The recognition that navigating change is both the challenge and the reward of this transformative phase. The winds of change conscious expression is not a static state but a dynamic process. It's a continuous journey of self-discovery and growth that requires us to navigate the winds of change. As we become more conscious of our patterns and choices, we may find ourselves faced with the need to change old habits, beliefs, and ways of being. Change can be both exhilarating and daunting. It's exhilarating because it signifies our capacity for growth and transformation. It's daunting because it often requires us to step out of our comfort zones, confront our fears, and let go of what no longer serves us. The challenge of change One of the challenges of conscious expression is the resistance we may encounter when attempting to change ingrained patterns of behavior. Our unconscious acts are like well-worn pathways in our minds, and breaking free from them can feel like traversing uncharted territory. Resistance can manifest as self-doubt, fear, or the allure of familiar but limiting narratives. It's the voice that whispers, 
you can't change or this is just the way you are. Yet, it's precisely in these moments of resistance that the potential for growth and transformation is most potent. The rewards of change the rewards of conscious expression are profound. As we navigate change, we begin to witness the blossoming of our authentic selves, the shedding of old layers, the emergence of our true desires, and the realization of our potential. Change allows us to break free from the scripts of the past and step into a future of our own creation. It empowers us to respond to life's challenges with intention, wisdom, and grace. It transforms our relationships, our perspectives, and our experiences. The journey of navigating change The journey of navigating change is a courageous one. It's a journey that calls upon our resilience our self-compassion, and our willingness to embrace the unknown. It's a journey that invites us to trust in our own capacity for transformation. As we continue to explore this phase, we'll delve into practical strategies for navigating change with grace and resilience. We'll learn to recognize the signs of resistance and discover techniques for overcoming it. We'll also celebrate the rewards of change and the profound shifts that conscious expression can bring to our lives. Navigating change is not a destination but a continuous process, a process that leads to a deeper understanding of ourselves, a greater alignment with our true desires, and a future filled with endless possibilities. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own journey of navigating change in the context of conscious expression. How have you faced the challenges of change, and what rewards have you reaped along the way? Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that the winds of change are the currents that carry us toward a brighter and more empowered future. Harnessing the Energy practical techniques for redirection in the unfolding chapters of our transformative journey, we've navigated through the depths of unconsciousness, the fog of forgetfulness, and the phases of acting out, seeking justice, recognizing the true nature of energy transfer, and embracing conscious expression. Now, we arrive at a phase that holds the key to profound empowerment, harnessing the energy. The power of redirecting energy throughout our journey, we've explored the concept of energy transfer, recognizing that every action, even those we perceive as negative, is ultimately driven by a desire for joy. In this phase, we take this understanding to a new level by learning practical techniques to redirect and harness this energy for our own growth and transformation. Imagine energy as a river flowing through your life. It's a force that can either be chaotic and destructive or channeled into a purposeful and empowering direction. Harnessing the energy is akin to becoming a skilled navigator of your inner river, steering it toward the destinations of your choosing. Techniques for redirection Mindfulness and Awareness The foundation of harnessing energy is mindfulness and awareness. By observing your thoughts, emotions, and reactions without judgment, you gain insight into the flow of your inner river. Mindfulness allows you to recognize the patterns and currents that shape your life. Emotional alchemy, transforming negative emotions into positive ones is a powerful technique. Instead of resisting or denying your emotions, you acknowledge them and then consciously choose to transmute their energy into a more constructive form. For example, turning anger into motivation for positive change. Visualization Visualization is a technique that involves mentally directing the flow of energy. By creating vivid mental images of your desired outcomes and experiences, you guide your inner river toward the realization of those visions. It's a way to consciously set your course. Setting Intentions Intention setting is a practice that aligns your conscious desires with the energy you wish to harness. By clearly defining your intentions and stating them with conviction, you create a roadmap for your inner river to follow. Action steps Taking purposeful action is the bridge between intention and manifestation. 
it's the act of aligning your choices and behaviors with your intentions. When you take action in line with your desires, you are actively steering your inner river toward your goals. The path of empowerment harnessing the energy is not a one-time event but an ongoing practice. It's a path of empowerment that invites you to become the captain of your own ship, navigating the currents of your inner world toward the shores of your dreams. As we delve deeper into this phase, We'll explore each technique in more detail and provide practical exercises to help you integrate them into your life. Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that harnessing the energy is the key to becoming a conscious creator of your reality. Chapter 4, Advocacy and Empowerment In this pivotal chapter of our transformative journey, we shift our focus to the concept of advocacy and empowerment, a phase that invites us to change our narrative from victimhood to empowerment. From victimhood to empowerment, changing your narrative victimhood is a narrative that many of us adopt unconsciously in response to challenging or traumatic experiences. It's a story that casts us as passive recipients of life's circumstances often leading to feelings of powerlessness and resignation. But what if we were to rewrite this narrative? What if we were to shift from seeing ourselves as victims to embracing a narrative of empowerment, one that acknowledges our capacity to create change and shape our own destiny? The power of advocacy Advocacy is a force that can transform the narrative of victimhood into one of empowerment. It's the act of speaking up for oneself and others, of advocating for justice and positive change, and of using our voice to create a better world. In my own journey, I experienced the transformative power of advocacy. It was the moment when I realized that I could use my voice not only to heal myself but also to advocate for those who had experienced similar challenges. Advocacy became a channel through which I could redirect the energy of my past experiences into a force for positive change. Reclaiming your narrative Changing your narrative from victimhood to empowerment is an act of reclaiming your story. It's about recognizing that the past does not define you and that you have the power to shape the meaning of your experiences. This shift in narrative is not about denying the pain or challenges you've faced. Instead, it's about reframing them as stepping stones on your journey toward empowerment. It's an invitation to become the author of your own story, to rewrite the script of your life, and to embrace your capacity for change and growth. The advocacy of self and others advocacy is a dual journey, one of self-empowerment and one of empowering others. By advocating for yourself, you reclaim your narrative and become a living testament to the transformative power of consciousness and choice. By advocating for others, you become a catalyst for change in their lives. In this chapter, we'll explore the practical aspects of advocacy, including finding your voice, speaking your truth, and championing positive change. We'll also delve into the nuances of self-empowerment and the ripple effect it has on those around you. Advocacy and empowerment are not abstract concepts but lived experiences, a journey of transformation that empowers you to become the hero of your own story and a beacon of hope and change for others. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own narrative. How has victimhood or empowerment shaped your story? and what steps can you take to rewrite it in a way that aligns with your true potential. Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that advocacy and empowerment are the vehicles that carry us toward a brighter and more impactful future. Extending a helping hand, advocating for others in similar situations in our journey through the chapter on advocacy and empowerment. We've explored the transformative power of changing our narrative from victimhood to empowerment. Now, we delve into a profound aspect of advocacy, extending a helping hand to advocate for others who may find themselves in similar situations. 
The call to advocate for others advocating for others is not only an act of empathy but also a powerful force for positive change. It's the recognition that your own journey of transformation can serve as a beacon of hope and inspiration for those facing similar challenges. In my own life, the decision to extend a helping hand to advocate for others was born out of a deep sense of empathy and a desire to be a source of support and guidance. It was a way to redirect the energy of my past experiences into a force for positive change in the lives of others. Empathy and understanding empathy is the foundation of advocating for others. It's the ability to deeply understand and share the feelings and experiences of those who have walked a similar path. It's about listening with an open heart, without judgment, and offering a compassionate presence. Understanding the challenges and emotions that others face allows you to provide meaningful support and guidance. It creates a sense of connection and validation, reassuring them that they are not alone in their journey. Sharing your story sharing your own transformative journey can be a powerful way to advocate for others. Your story becomes a testament to the possibility of change and growth, offering hope and inspiration to those who may be struggling. But it's not just about sharing the successes, it's also about sharing the challenges and setbacks you've faced. Your vulnerability and authenticity can create a safe space for others to open up about their own experiences and seek support. Guidance and resources Advocating for others often involves providing guidance and resources to help them on their journey. It may include recommending books, programs, therapies, or support groups that have been valuable to you. It's about offering a roadmap and tools to empower them to take their own steps toward transformation. The ripple effect of advocacy The act of advocating for others creates a ripple effect of positive change. As you extend a helping hand, you not only impact their lives but also contribute to a more empathetic and compassionate world. It's a way to be a force for good and to leave a lasting legacy of support and empowerment. In this chapter, we'll explore the practical aspects of advocating for others, including how to listen with empathy, share your story effectively, and provide guidance and resources. We'll also reflect on the profound impact advocacy has on both the advocate and those they support. Advocacy is not just a duty but a privilege, a privilege to be a source of hope, inspiration, and empowerment for others. So, dear reader, I invite you to consider how you can extend a helping hand to advocate for those in similar situations. Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that advocating for others is a pathway to creating a more compassionate and supportive world. The Ripple Effect how your journey can inspire change in others in our exploration of advocacy and empowerment, we've touched upon the transformative power of extending a helping hand to advocate for others in similar situations. Now, we delve into a profound aspect of advocacy, the ripple effect. It's the recognition that your own journey of transformation can inspire change in others, creating a positive and far-reaching impact. The Ripple Effect of Authenticity Authenticity is the heart of the ripple effect. When you share your journey authentically, you invite others to do the same. Your vulnerability becomes a bridge that allows them to connect with their own experiences and emotions. By being authentic about your challenges, your setbacks, and your moments of growth, you create a safe space for others to open up about their own struggles and triumphs. This exchange of authenticity fosters a sense of community and shared humanity. Inspiring hope and resilience Your journey of transformation serves as a beacon of hope for others who may be facing similar challenges. It demonstrates that change is possible, even in the face of adversity. Your story becomes a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. When others witness your transformation, it ignites a spark of possibility within them. It encourages them to believe that they, too, 
can overcome obstacles and create positive change in their lives. Empowering others to find their voice advocacy is not just about offering guidance and support, it's also about empowering others to find their own voice. When you share your story, you give them permission to share theirs. Your advocacy becomes an invitation for them to speak up, express themselves, and seek the support they need. Finding one's voice is a powerful step toward empowerment. It allows individuals to assert their needs, set boundaries, and advocate for themselves. Your journey can inspire them to take that transformative step. Creating a ripple of support and compassion The ripple effect of advocacy extends beyond the individuals you directly impact. As those you advocate for experience positive change, they, in turn, may become advocates for others. This creates a ripple of support and compassion that spreads through communities and beyond. Your advocacy becomes a part of a larger movement, a movement toward greater empathy, understanding, and support for those facing challenges. It contributes to a world where individuals are empowered to navigate their journeys of transformation with resilience and hope. Your journey as a catalyst for change in this chapter. We've explored the profound impact of your journey on others, the way your authenticity, hope, and empowerment can inspire change in those around you. Your journey serves as a catalyst for transformation not only in your own life but also in the lives of countless others. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on the ripple effect of your own journey. How has your authenticity and advocacy inspired change in others? Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that the ripple effect is a testament to the power of our stories to create a more compassionate and supportive world. A path to empowerment, tools for self-advocacy and support in our journey through the chapter on advocacy and empowerment, we've explored the transformative power of changing our narrative and the ripple effect that our journey can have on others. Now, we turn our attention to a crucial aspect of empowerment, equipping ourselves with tools for self-advocacy and support. The journey of self-advocacy Self-advocacy is the art of standing up for your own needs, expressing your desires, and advocating for your well-being. It's a journey of self-empowerment that allows you to take an active role in shaping your life. In my own life. Self-advocacy became a critical tool in my journey of transformation. It was the realization that I had the power and the right to assert myself, set boundaries, and seek the support I needed to thrive. Tools for self-advocacy and support Effective communication Effective communication is the cornerstone of self-advocacy. It involves expressing your thoughts, feelings, and needs clearly and assertively. It also includes active listening, which allows you to understand the perspectives of others. Setting boundaries. Setting boundaries is an essential aspect of self-advocacy. It means defining what is acceptable and unacceptable in your interactions and relationships. Setting healthy boundaries ensures that your well-being is a priority. Self-compassion. Self-compassion is the practice of treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer to a friend. It involves self-acceptance, forgiveness, and nurturing your own well-being. Seeking support, seeking support is a sign of strength, not weakness. It involves reaching out to trusted friends, family members, or professionals when you need assistance or guidance. It's a way of acknowledging that you don't have to navigate your journey alone. Empowerment through knowledge. Empowerment often comes from knowledge. Educate yourself about your rights, options, and resources. Whether it's understanding your legal rights or learning about available support services, knowledge is a powerful tool for self-advocacy. Self-care. Self-care is an essential aspect of self-advocacy and well-being. It involves nurturing your physical, emotional, and mental health through practices that recharge and rejuvenate you. 
Self-care ensures that you have the energy and resilience to advocate for yourself effectively. The path to empowerment The path to empowerment through self-advocacy is an ongoing journey. It's a journey that requires practice, self-compassion, and a commitment to your own well-being. It's a journey that acknowledges your worth and your right to a fulfilling and empowered life. In this chapter, we'll delve deeper into each of these tools for self-advocacy and support. We'll provide practical exercises and guidance to help you integrate them into your life. Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that self-advocacy is the path to a life where your needs, desires, and well-being are valued and prioritized. Chapter 5 Gratitude and Love Shifting Perspectives From Resentment to Gratitude In this chapter of our transformative journey, we shift our focus to the profound concepts of gratitude and love, a phase that invites us to change our perspectives from resentment to gratitude. Shifting Perspectives From Resentment to Gratitude Resentment is a heavy burden to carry. It's the weight of grievances, perceived injustices, and unhealed wounds that can cast a shadow over our lives. But what if we were to shift our perspectives and transform resentment into gratitude? What if we were to embrace love as the antidote to resentment? The power of gratitude Gratitude is a transformative force that can transmute resentment into appreciation. It's the practice of recognizing and acknowledging the blessings and positive aspects of our lives even in the midst of challenges. When we cultivate gratitude, we shift our focus from what is lacking or hurtful to what is abundant and meaningful. It's a shift from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset, a recognition that there is always something to be thankful for. Healing through love Love is the balm that soothes the wounds of resentment. It's the act of extending compassion, understanding, and kindness to ourselves and others. Love is a force that can heal, mend, and bridge the divides that resentment creates. In my own journey, I experienced the profound transformation that love and gratitude can bring. It was the realization that holding on to resentment only perpetuated my own suffering. By choosing love and gratitude, I was able to release the grip of resentment and embrace a life filled with joy and connection. Embracing forgiveness Forgiveness is a key component of shifting from resentment to gratitude. It's the act of letting go of the grievances and judgments that bind us to the past. Forgiveness is not about condoning hurtful actions but about freeing ourselves from the chains of resentment. Forgiving others and ourselves is a powerful act of self-compassion. It's a way of saying, I deserve peace and freedom from the burden of resentment. Forgiveness allows us to reclaim our power and open our hearts to love and gratitude. The practice of gratitude and love in this chapter, we'll explore the practical aspects of cultivating gratitude and love in your life. We'll provide exercises and techniques to help you shift your perspectives, let go of resentment, and embrace a life filled with appreciation and compassion. Gratitude and love are not just emotions but practices, a way of approaching life with an open heart and a spirit of abundance. They are the keys to unlocking the door to joy, connection, and transformation. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own journey of shifting from resentment to gratitude. How has the practice of gratitude and love transformed your perspective and your relationships? Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that gratitude and love are the pathways to a life filled with joy and connection. The gift of joy, understanding the positive intent behind the past as we journey through the transformative exploration of gratitude and love, we arrive at a profound concept, the gift of joy. It's the recognition that even in our past experiences, particularly those laden with pain and resentment, there exists a positive intent, a hidden gift of joy. 
Unearthing positive intent Positive intent is a concept that challenges us to look beyond the surface of our past experiences. It asks us to consider that even actions and events we perceive as negative may have been driven by a desire for joy, connection, or love. In the previous chapters, we explored how the energy of our past experiences could be harnessed and redirected for positive change. Now, we take it a step further by considering that the past itself, no matter how painful, may have held a kernel of positive intent. The complexity of human experience Human experience is multifaceted and often filled with contradictions. It's a tapestry woven with threads of joy and sorrow, love and pain, growth and challenge. Understanding the positive intent behind the past requires us to embrace this complexity. Consider, for example, a past relationship that ended in heartbreak. While the pain may have been undeniable, what positive intent could have driven that relationship? Perhaps it was a search for love, companionship, or personal growth. Recognizing this intent allows us to find a nugget of joy even in the midst of pain. Empathy and compassion Understanding the positive intent behind the past is an act of empathy and compassion. It's the ability to step into the shoes of others, including our past selves, and see the world from their perspective. It's about recognizing that, at the time, our actions and choices were driven by a desire for happiness even if the outcome was not as intended. This perspective can soften the edges of resentment and judgment. It invites us to release the grip of blame and embrace a more compassionate view of ourselves and others. Healing and transformation The gift of joy lies in the healing and transformation that come from understanding the positive intent behind the past. When we view our past experiences through this lens, we release the heavy burden of resentment and open ourselves to the possibility of forgiveness, healing, and growth. It's a journey of integration, a recognition that the past, with all its complexities, has shaped us into who we are today. By acknowledging the positive intent behind the past, we pave the way for a future filled with greater joy, connection, and authenticity. The practice of finding joy in the past in this chapter, we'll delve into the practical aspects of understanding the positive intent behind your own past experiences. We'll provide exercises and techniques to help you unearth the hidden gifts of joy and release the weight of resentment. The gift of joy is not a denial of past pain but a recognition that even in our darkest moments, there existed a glimmer of positive intent. It's an invitation to embrace a more empathetic and compassionate view of your past and, by extension, yourself. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own journey of finding joy in the past. How has understanding the positive intent behind your experiences transformed your perspective and your ability to heal and grow? Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation understanding that the gift of joy is a pathway to a life filled with greater depth and authenticity. Giving and receiving, how your newfound energy benefits yourself and others as we navigate the transformative journey of understanding the positive intent behind the past, we encounter a profound concept, the interplay between giving and receiving. It's the recognition that the newfound energy and perspective you've cultivated not only benefit yourself but also have a ripple effect on those around you. The flow of energy energy, like a river, is in a constant state of flow. Throughout our journey, we've explored how this energy can be redirected and harnessed for positive change. Now, we consider how this energy flows not only within us but also between us creating connections and opportunities for both giving and receiving. Giving, sharing your energy and wisdom giving is the act of sharing the energy and wisdom you've cultivated on your journey. It's the extension of your transformed perspective to support and uplift others. Giving is a way to be of service and make a positive impact in the lives of those you encounter. 
When you share your newfound energy and insights, you become a source of inspiration and support. Your experiences become a bridge of understanding that connects you with others who may be on similar journeys. Your giving is a way to contribute to the collective growth and transformation of those around you. Receiving, embracing the gifts of others receiving is equally important in the flow of energy. It's the act of embracing the gifts, support, and wisdom that others offer you. Receiving is a way to acknowledge your own worthiness and openness to growth. When you receive from others, you allow them to be of service to you. You recognize that you don't have to navigate your journey alone and that there is a wealth of knowledge and support available to you. Receiving is a way of humbly acknowledging the interconnectedness of all beings. The reciprocity of giving and receiving giving and receiving are not separate acts but interconnected aspects of the same flow of energy. When you give, you create space to receive, and when you receive, you are better equipped to give. It's a dance of reciprocity that fosters a sense of connection and unity. As you give, you may find that you receive even more in return, whether it's in the form of gratitude, shared insights, or a deepening of your own understanding. Similarly, as you receive, you may discover a newfound capacity to give, fueled by the energy and wisdom you've gained. The ripple effect of giving and receiving the interplay between giving and receiving creates a ripple effect of positive change. It's a cycle that extends beyond individuals and spreads through communities and beyond. As you give and receive, you become part of a larger network of support and growth. In this chapter, we'll explore the practical aspects of giving and receiving in your own life. We'll provide exercises and guidance to help you embrace both sides of this flow of energy and recognize the profound impact it has on your personal transformation and the transformation of those around you. Giving and receiving are not isolated acts but integral parts of a larger tapestry of interconnectedness. They are the threads that weave a web of support, growth, and transformation in the world. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own experiences of giving and receiving. How has the interplay between these two aspects of energy flow shaped your journey and your connections with others? Together. We shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that giving and receiving are the threads that bind us to a greater tapestry of growth and connection. Love in Action, Ways to Express Your Gratitude and Love in Daily Life In our exploration of gratitude and love, we've uncovered the transformative power of shifting from resentment to appreciation. Now, we delve into the practical aspect of living out these concepts through love in action, expressing your gratitude and love in your daily life. Love as a verb Love is not just a feeling, it's a verb, an action that can be expressed through our thoughts, words, and deeds. It's the choice to extend kindness, compassion, and care to ourselves and others. In our journey, We've learned that understanding the positive intent behind the past can lead to a profound sense of gratitude. Now, we take that gratitude and turn it into love in action. Daily acts of kindness One of the simplest ways to express your gratitude and love is through daily acts of kindness. These can be small gestures, such as offering a smile to a stranger, holding the door for someone or expressing appreciation to a co-worker. Daily acts of kindness not only brighten someone else's day but also create a sense of connection and goodwill. They are a way to infuse your daily life with love and gratitude. Words of affirmation words have the power to heal and uplift. Expressing your love and gratitude through words of affirmation is a powerful way to connect with others on a deeper level. It can be as simple as telling a loved one how much they mean to you or offering words of encouragement and support. Words of affirmation are a way to reinforce the positive intent behind your interactions and relationships. They create a sense of validation and appreciation that can be transformative. 
Acts of service Acts of service involve going out of your way to help others. It can be volunteering your time for a charitable cause, assisting a friend in need, or offering your skills to support someone's growth. Acts of service not only express your love and gratitude but also contribute to positive change in the world. They are a way to channel your energy and resources toward making a meaningful impact. Quality time Quality time is a precious gift in our fast-paced world. Spending time with loved ones, fully present and engaged, is a way to express your love and gratitude. It's about creating meaningful connections and memories. Quality time allows you to deepen your relationships and strengthen the bonds of love and appreciation. It's a reminder that time is a valuable currency that we can choose to invest in what truly matters. Gifts and tokens of appreciation Gifts are tangible expressions of love and gratitude. They need not be extravagant but thoughtful and meaningful. It could be a handwritten note, a bouquet of flowers, or a homemade meal. Gifts and tokens of appreciation are a way to convey your love and gratitude in a tangible form. They serve as reminders of the positive intent behind your relationships and interactions. Living love in action In this chapter, we'll explore practical ways to integrate love in action into your daily life. We'll provide guidance and exercises to help you express your gratitude and love in meaningful ways. Love in action is not reserved for special occasions but is a way of living authentically and intentionally. It's a reminder that love and gratitude are not static emotions but dynamic forces that can shape your daily experiences and relationships. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on how you can incorporate love in action into your daily life. How can you express your gratitude and love through your thoughts, words, and deeds? Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation. Understanding that love in action is the bridge that connects our inner transformation with the world around us. Chapter 6, Energy as Life Itself A Deeper Understanding, Viewing Energy as the Essence of Life In our journey of personal transformation, we've explored profound concepts, from understanding the positive intent behind the past to expressing gratitude and love in daily life. Now, we embark on a chapter that delves into the very essence of our existence, energy as life itself. A deeper understanding, viewing energy as the essence of life energy is the invisible force that animates all living things. It's the current that flows through every cell, every thought, and every interaction. In this chapter, we seek to develop a deeper understanding of energy as the very essence of life. The vital force within in many spiritual and philosophical traditions, energy is often referred to as the vital force or life force. It's the source of vitality, consciousness, and interconnectedness. Recognizing energy as the essence of life invites us to view our existence through a new lens. We are not merely physical beings but energetic beings intricately woven into the fabric of the universe. This perspective opens the door to a profound sense of unity and interconnectedness with all of existence. The dance of energy Energy is not static but in a constant state of flux. It ebbs and flows, adapts and transforms. Our own journey of personal transformation is a dance of energy, a process of harnessing and redirecting this life force for positive change. Understanding the dynamic nature of energy allows us to navigate our journey with greater fluidity and grace. It's a reminder that, like a river, we can adapt to obstacles and create new pathways for growth. The healing power of energy Energy is not only the essence of life but also a potent source of healing. When we align our energy with positive intent, when we embrace love and gratitude, we create an environment within ourselves that supports healing on all levels, physical, emotional, and spiritual. Energy healing practices, such as Reiki, acupuncture, and meditation, tap into the body's innate ability to heal itself. 
they work with the flow of energy to restore balance and harmony. This chapter will explore some of these practices and how they can complement your journey of personal transformation. The unity of all life recognizing energy as the essence of life fosters a sense of unity with all living beings. It's an acknowledgement that we are all interconnected through this universal life force. Our actions and intentions ripple through this interconnected web, affecting not only ourselves but all of existence. As we deepen our understanding of energy as life itself, we come to realize that our journey of personal transformation is not isolated but part of a greater tapestry of growth and evolution. It's a humbling and or inspiring realization that we are co-creators of the energy that shapes our world. Embracing the essence of life in this chapter, we'll explore practical ways to embrace the essence of life through the understanding and conscious management of energy. We'll delve into energy healing practices, meditation, and mindfulness techniques that can enhance your connection with the vital force within. Energy is not an abstract concept but the very essence of your existence. It's the key to your transformation, your well-being, and your ability to create positive change in your life and in the world. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own experiences of energy as the essence of life. How has this perspective influenced your journey of personal transformation? Together, we shall continue our exploration, understanding that energy is the current that propels us toward a life filled with greater depth, authenticity, and interconnectedness. Transcending Limitations Recognizing the boundless potential within in our journey of personal transformation, we've explored the profound nature of energy as the essence of life itself. Now, we turn our attention to a concept that is both liberating and empowering, transcending limitations and recognizing the boundless potential within. The nature of limitations Limitations are a part of the human experience. They can manifest as physical constraints, mental barriers, or emotional obstacles. We all encounter limitations in various forms throughout our lives, and they can be a source of frustration and discouragement. However, limitations are not fixed or insurmountable. They are often self-imposed or conditioned by our beliefs and past experiences. Recognizing this truth is the first step in transcending limitations. The power of belief Belief is a potent force that can either confine us or set us free. Our beliefs shape our perception of what is possible or impossible. When we believe in our limitations, they become our reality. When we believe in our potential, we expand our horizons. Transcending limitations begins with a shift in belief. It's about challenging the narratives that hold us back and adopting a mindset of possibility and growth. It's the realization that our potential is not bound by the circumstances of our past or the expectations of others. Embracing transformation Our journey of personal transformation is a testament to the capacity for change and growth that resides within each of us. It's a reminder that we have the power to transcend our limitations and evolve into our fullest expression. Transformation is not a one-time event but an ongoing process. It involves self-awareness, self-acceptance, and a commitment to growth. It's about recognizing that we are not defined by our past but by our potential. Cultivating resilience Resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity and setbacks. It's a quality that allows us to navigate challenges with grace and determination. Resilience is closely linked to the idea of transcending limitations, as it empowers us to see obstacles as opportunities for growth. Cultivating resilience involves developing a growth mindset, building emotional intelligence, and practicing self-compassion. It's a way of fortifying ourselves against the limitations that may arise on our journey. The boundless potential within the recognition of boundless potential within is an invitation to dream big and aim high. 
it's the understanding that we are not limited by external circumstances or past experiences. Our potential is not confined by societal norms or the expectations of others. As we delve into the concept of transcending limitations, we'll explore practical strategies and exercises to help you unlock your boundless potential. We'll examine the role of self-belief, resilience, and growth mindset in your journey. Transcending limitations is not about denying challenges but embracing them as stepping stones toward greater self-realization. It's a journey of self-discovery and self-empowerment that opens the door to a life filled with purpose, passion, and possibility. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own journey of transcending limitations. How have you overcome challenges and expanded your horizons? How have you tapped into your boundless potential? Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that the only true limitation is the one we impose upon ourselves. Sustainable Joy Cultivating lasting happiness through conscious energy use As we continue our journey of personal transformation, we arrive at a profound destination, Sustainable Joy. It's the recognition that joy is not a fleeting emotion but a state of being that can be cultivated and sustained through conscious energy use. The nature of joy Joy is often seen as a fleeting emotion that arises in response to external circumstances, achievements, celebrations, or moments of pleasure. However, sustainable joy invites us to view happiness as an ongoing in a state of being that is not dependent on external factors. True joy is not limited by the ups and downs of life but can be sustained even in the face of challenges. It's the result of conscious energy management and a deep connection with the essence of life itself. Conscious energy use Conscious energy use involves the intentional allocation of our energy toward activities, thoughts, and relationships that nourish our well-being and sustain our joy. It's a practice that requires self-awareness, mindfulness, and a commitment to prioritizing what truly matters. When we become conscious of how we use our energy, we can make choices that support our joy and vitality. It's about recognizing the activities and people that energize us and those that drain us. It's a way of aligning our energy with our values and intentions. The joyful mindset Our mindset plays a crucial role in sustaining joy. A mindset of gratitude, optimism, and resilience can enhance our capacity to experience joy even in challenging circumstances. It's the understanding that joy is not solely a product of external events but a product of our internal attitudes and beliefs. Cultivating a joyful mindset involves practices such as gratitude journaling, positive affirmations, and mindfulness meditation. These practices help shift our focus toward the positive aspects of life and nurture our capacity for sustained joy. The role of relationships Our relationships can either contribute to our sustainable joy or deplete our energy. Conscious energy use in relationships involves choosing connections that uplift and support our well-being. It's about setting boundaries and nurturing relationships that align with our values and bring us joy. Healthy, positive relationships are a source of sustainable joy. They provide a sense of belonging and connection that nourishes our emotional well-being. In this chapter, We'll explore strategies for cultivating meaningful connections that enhance our joy. The impact of sustainable joy Sustainable joy is not only a source of personal well-being but also a force for positive change in the world. When we sustain our joy, we become beacons of positivity and inspiration to others. Our joy has a ripple effect, spreading through our communities and beyond. In this chapter, We'll delve into practical techniques and exercises to help you cultivate sustainable joy in your life. We'll explore the role of conscious energy use, mindset, and relationships in sustaining your happiness. 
Sustainable joy is not an elusive goal but an achievable state of being that is within your reach. It's a journey of self-discovery, self-care, and conscious living that can lead to a life filled with lasting happiness and fulfillment. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own journey of sustainable joy. How have you consciously managed your energy to cultivate lasting happiness? How have your mindset and relationships contributed to your joy? Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that sustainable joy is not a destination but a way of living that enriches our lives and the lives of those around us. Sharing the journey, inviting others to explore their own transformation as we near the conclusion of our transformative journey, we come to a pivotal chapter, sharing the journey with others. It's the recognition that our personal transformation has the power to inspire and guide those around us on their own paths of growth and self-discovery. The gift of inspiration Your journey of personal transformation is a gift a source of inspiration that can ignite the spark of change in others. When you share your experiences, insights, and wisdom, you become a beacon of hope and possibility for those who may be seeking their own path to transformation. Inspiration is a powerful force that can motivate and empower others to take the first steps toward positive change. Your willingness to open up and share your journey can be a catalyst for transformation in the lives of those you encounter. The role of authenticity Authenticity is the key to effective sharing. When you authentically express your experiences, including the challenges and vulnerabilities, you create a genuine connection with others. Authenticity is a bridge that allows people to relate to your journey on a personal level. Sharing authentically also involves acknowledging that transformation is an ongoing process. It's not about presenting a perfect image but a real and relatable one. Your authenticity invites others to embrace their imperfections and embark on their own journeys with courage and self-acceptance. Guiding and supporting sharing the journey goes beyond mere inspiration. It also involves guiding and supporting others on their paths of transformation. You can offer guidance, resources, and a listening ear to those who seek your assistance. Your experiences become a roadmap that can help others navigate their own challenges and obstacles. Supporting others on their journey is an act of service that deepens your own understanding and reinforces your commitment to personal growth. It's a reminder that we are all interconnected and that our transformation has a ripple effect in the lives of those we touch. Creating a supportive community transformation is often a solitary endeavor, but it doesn't have to be. By sharing your journey, you can create or contribute to a supportive community of like-minded individuals who are on their paths of growth. Communities provide a sense of belonging and a space for shared learning and growth. Whether it's through workshops, support groups, or online platforms, you can foster a sense of community that empowers others to explore their transformation with a sense of camaraderie and mutual support. The ripple effect of sharing the act of sharing the journey has a profound ripple effect. It's not just about the individuals you directly impact but the collective consciousness you contribute to. By inspiring and guiding others toward positive change, you become part of a larger movement of personal and societal transformation. In this chapter, we'll explore practical strategies and techniques for sharing your journey with authenticity and purpose. We'll discuss the importance of creating a safe and supportive space for others to explore their transformation. Sharing the journey is not only a gift you give to others but also a gift you give to yourself. It deepens your understanding, strengthens your commitment, and reinforces the interconnectedness of all beings on the path of personal growth. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own experiences of sharing the journey. How have you inspired and supported others on their paths of transformation? How has this act of sharing enriched your own journey? Together, 
we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that by sharing our light, we illuminate the paths of others and collectively create a world filled with growth, compassion, and authenticity. Chapter 7, From Abuse to Abundance Redefining Abuse, How Your Perspective Challenges Conventional Labels In our journey of personal transformation, we've explored profound concepts, from recognizing energy as the essence of life to cultivating sustainable joy. Now, we enter a chapter that challenges conventional labels and invites us to redefine abuse in a way that aligns with our transformative perspective. The conventional definition of abuse in conventional terms, abuse is defined as the mistreatment, harm, or cruelty inflicted upon an individual. It encompasses physical, emotional, verbal, and psychological forms of harm. Abuse is universally recognized as a harmful and unacceptable behavior, and it rightly elicits feelings of outrage and empathy for the victims. The challenge of perspective our journey has taken us to a unique vantage point, one that challenges conventional labels and invites us to see the world through a different lens. From your perspective, you've redefined abuse as a transfer of energy, often intense and turbulent that was once directed at you. This perspective acknowledges the positive intent behind the act, even if it was expressed in a harmful manner. This reinterpretation of abuse invites us to view it as a complex exchange of energy rather than a one-dimensional act of cruelty. It acknowledges the multifaceted nature of human experiences and the possibility that even in the midst of pain, there may be elements of positive intent. The gift in the challenge redefining abuse in this way does not diminish the harm or pain it can cause. It does, however, open the door to a deeper understanding of the complexity of human interactions. It invites us to explore the positive intent that may have been concealed beneath the surface of hurtful actions. From this perspective, abuse can be seen as a misunderstood and misdirected expression of intense energy. It can be viewed as an opportunity for transformation, both for the recipient and the perpetrator. It challenges us to seek the positive intent within difficult experiences and recognize the potential for growth and healing. Empowerment through perspective shifting our perspective on abuse empowers us to transcend the role of victim and embrace the role of a conscious participant in our own transformation. It allows us to reclaim our agency and recognize that we have the capacity to choose how we respond to challenging experiences. This chapter will delve into practical strategies for reframing your perspective on past experiences that may have been labeled as abuse. It will explore ways to find meaning, healing, and growth within these experiences and use them as catalysts for personal transformation. The power of choice redefining abuse as an exchange of energy opens the door to choice. It allows us to choose how we perceive and respond to difficult experiences. It empowers us to transform pain into purpose, to find strength in vulnerability, and to see the potential for abundance even in the face of adversity. In this chapter, We'll explore techniques and exercises to help you embrace your perspective and navigate the challenges of redefining abuse. We'll delve into the transformative potential of this perspective and how it can lead to a life filled with abundance, compassion, and growth. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own experiences and how your perspective challenges conventional labels. How has redefining abuse empowered you on your journey of personal transformation? Together, we shall continue our exploration, understanding that by redefining our perspectives, we unlock the door to abundance and resilience in the face of life's challenges. Lessons in Abundance The richness of your life's experiences in this chapter, we embark on a profound exploration of abundance one that transcends material wealth and external possessions. It's the recognition that your life's experiences, including the challenges and transformations, are a source of true abundance. 
the traditional pursuit of abundance in many societies. The pursuit of abundance is often associated with the accumulation of material wealth, possessions, and status. While these external markers of success can provide comfort and security, they do not necessarily guarantee a rich and fulfilling life. Your journey of personal transformation has taken you beyond the traditional concept of abundance. It has shown you that true wealth lies not in the accumulation of things but in the depth and richness of your experiences. Abundance in lessons every experience, whether joyful or challenging, holds within it valuable lessons. These lessons are the seeds of personal growth, self-awareness, and transformation. They are the threads that weave the tapestry of your life story. In this chapter, we'll explore the concept of abundance through the lens of your life's lessons. We'll delve into the wisdom and insights you've gained from your experiences, particularly those that have been redefined from abuse to opportunities for growth. The transformational power of perspective Your perspective has played a pivotal role in uncovering the abundance within your experiences. By redefining abuse and challenging conventional labels, you've discovered the hidden treasures of growth and self-discovery that exist within even the most challenging moments of your life. This perspective has transformed your past experiences into sources of wisdom and strength. It has allowed you to extract meaning and purpose from moments of pain and difficulty, revealing the richness of your life's journey. Practical Exercises for Embracing Abundance In this chapter, we'll explore practical exercises and techniques to help you embrace the abundance within your life's experiences. We'll discuss journaling, reflection, and mindfulness practices that can deepen your understanding of the lessons you've learned along the way. These exercises will guide you in uncovering the hidden gems of wisdom and insight that reside within your experiences. They will empower you to see abundance not as something external to be pursued but as an inherent part of your life story. Living an abundant life as you reflect on your journey you'll come to realize that your life is a tapestry woven with threads of abundance. It's a story of growth, resilience, and transformation. It's a testament to the richness of your experiences and the wisdom you've gained along the way. Living an abundant life is not about the absence of challenges but the presence of growth. It's about embracing the full spectrum of human experiences and recognizing that each moment, each lesson, is a gift of abundance. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own life's experiences and the lessons you've learned. How has your perspective transformed moments of pain into opportunities for growth? How has redefining abuse enriched your understanding of abundance? Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation understanding that the true wealth of life lies in the lessons we learn and the growth we experience along the way. The joy of sharing, encouraging others to embrace their journey in this chapter, we delve into the profound joy of sharing your transformative journey with others. It's a celebration of the power of inspiration and guidance and an exploration of how you can encourage and support those around you on their own transformative paths. The ripple effect of sharing your journey of personal transformation is not only a gift to yourself but also to those who cross your path. When you share your experiences, insights, and wisdom, you create a ripple effect of positive change in the lives of others. Your journey becomes a source of inspiration and empowerment. It's important to recognize that your willingness to share your journey can have a transformative impact far beyond what you may realize. Your words, actions, and authenticity have the power to ignite the spark of change in those who may be seeking guidance and inspiration. Leading by example sharing your journey is not just about words, it's about leading by example. Your commitment to personal growth and transformation sets a powerful precedent for those around you. It shows them that change is possible, 
that challenges can be overcome, and that growth is a lifelong journey. Leading by example involves embodying the qualities and values you wish to inspire in others. It's about living authentically, embracing vulnerability, and demonstrating resilience. Your actions become a source of guidance and motivation for those who look up to you. Creating a supportive space encouraging others to embrace their own transformative journeys also involves creating a supportive space for them to explore and grow. It's about offering a listening ear, a non-judgmental presence, and a sense of understanding. By creating a safe and supportive environment, you empower others to share their experiences and challenges. It fosters a sense of trust and openness that can be instrumental in their personal growth. It's a gift you can offer to those who are on their own paths of transformation. The power of compassion Compassion is a cornerstone of encouraging others on their transformative journeys. It's the ability to empathize with their struggles and offer kindness and support without judgment. Compassion is a powerful force that can provide comfort and solace to those in need. In this chapter, we'll explore techniques and practices for cultivating compassion and empathy. We'll discuss the role of active listening, empathy, and understanding in creating a compassionate and supportive space for others. The gift of empowerment One of the greatest gifts you can offer through sharing your journey is empowerment. Empowering others means helping them recognize their own agency and potential for change. It's about guiding them to tap into their inner strength and resilience. As you share your journey, you become a source of empowerment for others. Your guidance, insights, and encouragement can empower them to take ownership of their lives and embark on their own transformative journeys with confidence and determination. The continuation of the ripple The act of sharing your journey is not a one-time event but an ongoing process. It's a commitment to being a source of inspiration and support for those around you. As you encourage others to embrace their journeys, you contribute to the perpetuation of the transformative ripple effect. In this chapter, we'll explore practical strategies for sharing your journey with authenticity and purpose. We'll discuss the importance of creating a supportive community of like-minded individuals who can inspire and uplift each other. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own experiences of sharing your journey and encouraging others to embrace their own transformations. How have you inspired and supported those around you? How has this act of sharing enriched your own journey? Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that by sharing our light, we illuminate the paths of others and collectively create a world filled with growth, compassion, and authenticity. Living authentically, embracing your glow and inspiring others to do the same in this final chapter, we arrive at the culmination of our transformative journey, a celebration of living authentically and embracing your unique glow, genuine, light, oneness, wellness. It's a chapter dedicated to the profound joy of living in alignment with your true self and inspiring others to do the same. The essence of authentic living Authentic living is about being true to yourself, embracing your uniqueness, and living in alignment with your values and beliefs. It's a journey of self-discovery and self-expression that allows you to shine your light brightly in the world. Throughout this book, you've explored the depths of your own transformation and the power of perspective. You've learned to see challenges as opportunities redefined abuse as a complex energy exchange, and discovered the abundance within your life's experiences. Now, it's time to take all that you've learned and apply it to your daily life. Embracing your glow Your glow is your authentic self, shining with the qualities of being genuine, light, one with the universe, and a beacon of wellness. It's a state of being that radiates from within, and it's the result of your transformative journey. Your glow is your unique expression of authenticity. 
Living authentically means fully embracing your glow and allowing it to guide your choices, actions, and interactions. It's about being true to yourself in all aspects of your life, whether at work, in relationships, or in your personal pursuits. Inspiring others to shine living authentically is not just about your own journey, it's also about inspiring and encouraging others to shine their light. As you embrace your glow you become a living example of authenticity and empowerment. Your presence alone can inspire those around you to embark on their own transformative journeys. Leading by example, sharing your experiences, and offering support to others are powerful ways to inspire them to live authentically. It's about creating a ripple effect of authenticity and empowerment that extends beyond your own life. Championing self-discovery Authentic living is an ongoing process of self-discovery and self-expression. It's a commitment to continually explore your values, beliefs, and passions and to align your life with them. It's about championing the journey of self-discovery for yourself and those you inspire. In this chapter, we'll explore practical strategies for living authentically and inspiring others to do the same. We'll discuss the importance of self-care, mindfulness, and self-expression in maintaining your glow and encouraging others to shine. The gift of authenticity Authentic living is a gift you give to yourself and the world. It's a testament to your growth, resilience, and commitment to transformation. It's a way of living that enriches your life with meaning, purpose, and fulfillment. As you continue your journey of authenticity, remember that it's not about perfection but progress. It's about embracing your imperfections and vulnerabilities as part of your unique glow. It's about being kind and compassionate to yourself and others along the way. The ripple of authenticity The ripple effect of authenticity extends far and wide, touching the lives of those you encounter. Your commitment to living authentically inspires others to do the same, creating a world filled with individuals who shine their light brightly and live in alignment with their true selves. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on your own journey of authenticity and how you can embrace your glow more fully. How can you inspire others to shine their light and live authentically? Together. We shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that by living authentically, we not only enrich our own lives but also inspire a world where everyone can embrace their unique glow and live in alignment with their true selves. Conclusion The journey continues, reflecting on your ongoing transformation in the pages of this book, we've embarked on a profound journey of personal transformation. A journey that has taken us through the depths of self-discovery, redefined our perspectives, and illuminated the path to authentic living. As we conclude our exploration, it's essential to reflect on the ongoing nature of transformation. A lifelong journey transformation is not a destination but a lifelong journey. It's a continuous process of growth, self-awareness, and evolution. The insights and wisdom you've gained from your journey are not the end but the beginning of a new chapter. The power of reflection Reflection is a powerful tool on your transformative journey. It allows you to pause and contemplate the lessons, experiences, and growth you've encountered along the way. It's a way of honoring your journey and integrating its wisdom into your life. Take time to reflect on the following questions. How has your perspective shifted throughout your journey? What have been the most significant lessons you've learned? In what ways have you embraced your unique glow and lived authentically? How have you inspired and supported others on their transformative paths? What challenges and opportunities lie ahead in your ongoing journey? Embracing uncertainty transformation often involves stepping into the unknown and embracing uncertainty. It's about being open to change, growth, and new possibilities. The journey ahead may have its share of challenges and surprises, but it's in these moments of uncertainty that the most profound transformations can occur. 
the ripple effect of transformation your journey of personal transformation has a ripple effect that extends beyond your own life by embracing your glow and living authentically you inspire and empower those around you to do the same your commitment to growth and self-awareness contributes to a collective shift toward a more conscious and authentic world. Continuing the exploration as you conclude this book, remember that your transformative journey is far from over. It's a lifelong exploration of self-discovery, authenticity, and growth. Embrace the challenges, celebrate the victories, and continue to shine your unique light in the world. Keep exploring, keep evolving, and keep inspiring others with your journey. Your path of personal transformation is a gift not only to yourself but to the world, a testament to the power of authenticity and the boundless potential of the human spirit. So, dear reader, as you turn the final pages of this book, know that your journey continues, and the possibilities for growth and self-discovery are limitless. May you continue to embrace your glow and inspire others to do the same as you navigate the ever-evolving landscape of personal transformation. Leaving a legacy, your impact on others and the world in this chapter, we explore the profound concept of leaving a legacy, a testament to the impact you've had on others and the world through your transformative journey. Your legacy is the mark you leave behind, the ripples of your influence and the lasting change you bring to the lives of those you touch. The legacy of authentic living Authentic living is the foundation of the legacy you leave. As you embrace your glow and live in alignment with your true self, you set an example for others to do the same. Your commitment to authenticity becomes a beacon of light that guides others on their own transformative journeys. Your legacy is not defined by material possessions or external achievements but by the authenticity, compassion, and wisdom you bring to the world. It's a legacy that inspires others to live authentically and contribute positively to the world around them. The impact on relationships One of the most significant aspects of your legacy is the impact you have on your relationships. Your journey of personal transformation influences how you relate to others, how you communicate, and how you show up in your relationships. By living authentically, you create deeper and more meaningful connections with others. You inspire trust, vulnerability, and open communication. Your legacy in relationships is one of empathy, understanding, and the capacity to uplift and support those you care about. Inspiring the next generation your legacy extends to future generations as well. By embracing your glow and living authentically, you set an example for your children, grandchildren, and those who come after you. You provide them with a roadmap for self-discovery, personal growth, and the pursuit of their own authentic paths. You have the power to break generational patterns and inspire the next generation to live in alignment with their true selves. Your legacy becomes a gift of wisdom and empowerment that continues to shape the world long after you're gone. Contributing to the collective transformation your legacy is not limited to individual impact, it also contributes to the collective transformation of society. As more individuals embrace authenticity and personal growth, the collective consciousness shifts toward a more conscious and compassionate world. Your legacy is a part of this larger tapestry of change, a testament to the power of one individual's journey to create a ripple effect of positive transformation in the world. Living with purpose Leaving a legacy is about living with purpose and intention. It's about recognizing that your actions, choices, and words have a lasting impact. It's an invitation to live in alignment with your values and beliefs and to leave behind a world that reflects your authentic self. In this chapter, we'll explore practical strategies for living with purpose and leaving a legacy of authenticity and compassion. We'll discuss ways to inspire and support others in their own transformative journeys and how to create a positive impact in your community and the world. 
your legacy lives on as you reflect on your own legacy, remember that it's an ongoing process. Your legacy is not something that only comes into focus at the end of your life, it's a living testament to your ongoing commitment to authenticity and growth. Your legacy lives on in the hearts and minds of those you've inspired, in the positive changes you've contributed to the world, and in the continued exploration of personal transformation by future generations. So, dear reader, I invite you to reflect on the legacy you wish to leave behind. How do you want to be remembered? How do you hope to inspire and impact others through your transformative journey? Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, understanding that the legacy we leave is a reflection of our commitment to authenticity, compassion, and positive change in the world. The Power of Choice Encouraging readers to find their own paths to empowerment in the final pages of this book, we come full circle to the core theme of personal empowerment, a theme that has woven its way through every chapter and every aspect of your transformative journey. As we conclude our exploration, we turn our attention to the power of choice and the encouragement for readers to embark on their unique paths to empowerment. Choice as a catalyst for change choice is a fundamental aspect of personal empowerment. It's the recognition that you have agency over your thoughts, actions, and decisions. Throughout your journey, you've made choices that have led to growth, self-awareness, and transformation. Encouraging readers to embrace the power of choice is an invitation to recognize that they too have the capacity to shape their lives. It's about inspiring them to take ownership of their choices and the direction of their journey. The diverse paths to empowerment just as there is no one-size-fits-all approach to personal transformation, there is no singular path to empowerment. Empowerment takes on different forms for each individual, shaped by their unique experiences, values, and aspirations. In this final chapter, we celebrate the diversity of paths to empowerment. We acknowledge that each reader's journey will be a reflection of their authentic self and their personal growth goals. There is no right or wrong way to empower oneself, there is only the way that resonates most deeply with one's heart and soul. Inspiring the spark of transformation as readers reach the conclusion of this book, they carry with them the insights, wisdom and inspiration gained from your transformative journey. It's our hope that these words will serve as a catalyst, a spark that ignites their own journey of personal empowerment. Empowering readers is about kindling the fire within them, the fire of self-discovery, growth, and authenticity. It's about inspiring them to take the first step, no matter how small, on their path to empowerment. Practical Guidance for the Journey Throughout this book, we've provided practical guidance, exercises, and insights to support readers on their transformative journeys. In this chapter, we'll offer guidance specific to embracing the power of choice and embarking on a path to personal empowerment. We'll discuss techniques for clarifying values, setting intentions, and making choices aligned with one's authentic self. We'll explore the importance of self-compassion and resilience in the face of challenges, and we'll provide tools for staying true to one's path. The continuation of transformation encouraging readers to embrace their own paths to empowerment is an affirmation that personal transformation is an ongoing process. It's not a destination but a lifelong journey of self-discovery and growth. As you close the pages of this book, Remember that your journey continues, and so does the journey of every reader who has been touched by your words. Your own path to empowerment serves as a beacon of inspiration for others as they navigate their own unique journeys. A shared commitment to growth In concluding this book, we celebrate the shared commitment to growth, authenticity, and positive change. We recognize that personal empowerment is a gift we can offer ourselves and the world.
It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the boundless potential within each individual. So, dear reader, as you reach the final chapter of this book, know that the power of choice is in your hands. Your journey of empowerment is a path uniquely yours, and it begins with the choices you make. May you find inspiration, guidance, and the courage to embrace your own path to empowerment, knowing that the possibilities for growth and transformation are endless. Together, we shall continue our exploration of personal transformation, united by the belief that the power of choice can lead us to lives of authenticity, fulfillment, and empowerment. Appendix Exercises for self-reflection and healing In this appendix, we provide a collection of exercises designed to facilitate self-reflection, healing, and personal growth. These exercises are meant to complement the concepts and insights explored throughout the book and offer practical tools for readers to embark on their transformative journeys. Exercise 1 the journey of self-discovery This exercise encourages readers to embark on a journey of self-discovery by exploring their values, beliefs, and aspirations. It helps individuals clarify their authentic selves and set intentions for their personal growth journey. Find a quiet and comfortable space for reflection. Take out a journal or notebook. Begin by writing down the values and beliefs that are most important to you. What principles guide your life? Reflect on your aspirations and goals. What do you want to achieve on your transformative journey? Consider the areas of your life where you feel misaligned with your authentic self. What changes would you like to make? Based on your reflections, Set one or two clear intentions for your personal growth journey. These intentions will serve as guiding stars on your path. Exercise 2. The Power of Gratitude Gratitude is a transformative practice that can shift one's perspective and bring about a sense of joy and contentment. This exercise invites readers to cultivate gratitude in their lives. Create a gratitude journal or find a notebook. Each day, write down three things you are grateful for. These can be simple or profound, from the people in your life to the beauty of nature. Reflect on the positive impact of these elements in your life. How do they contribute to your sense of well-being and authenticity? Over time, review your gratitude journal to witness the cumulative effect of focusing on the positive aspects of your life. Exercise 3 Healing through forgiveness Forgiveness is a powerful tool for healing and letting go of the past. This exercise guides readers in exploring forgiveness as a means of releasing emotional baggage. Find a quiet and reflective space. Think about someone or a situation from your past that has caused you pain or resentment. Write a letter to this person or situation, expressing your feelings honestly and openly. You don't need to send this letter, it's for your healing. Reflect on the concept of forgiveness. Is there a willingness to let go of the negative emotions associated with this person or situation? Practice self-forgiveness. Are there areas in your life where you need to forgive yourself for past actions or decisions? Exercise 4. Cultivating mindfulness Mindfulness is the practice of being present in the moment without judgment. It can enhance self-awareness and promote emotional well-being. Find a quiet and comfortable space. Begin with a short meditation practice. Focus on your breath and the sensations in your body. When your mind wanders, gently bring it back to the present moment. Throughout the day, Practice mindfulness in everyday activities. Pay full attention to each action, whether it's eating, walking, or listening to someone. Keep a mindfulness journal to record your experiences and insights. How does practicing mindfulness impact your self-awareness and emotional state? These exercises are offered as tools to support readers on their transformative journeys. 
they can be adapted and personalized to suit individual needs and preferences. Remember that personal growth is an ongoing process, and these exercises can be revisited and adapted as you continue to evolve and grow. Resources for further exploration This section provides a curated list of resources to further support readers on their transformative journeys. These resources encompass a range of formats, including books, websites, podcasts, and organizations, offering valuable insights, guidance, and inspiration for personal growth and self-discovery. Books for Personal Growth and Transformation the Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, A Transformative Guide to Living in the Present Moment and Finding Inner Peace. Daring Greatly by Bryn Brown, Explores Vulnerability, Courage, and the Path to a Wholehearted Life. The Gifts of Imperfection by Bryn Brown, Offers Insights on Embracing Authenticity and Cultivating Self-Compassion. The Alchemist by Paolo Selho a beautifully written novel that explores the journey of following one's dreams and destiny. Radical Acceptance by Tara Brach, a guide to self-acceptance, healing, and mindfulness. Websites and online communities, Greater Good magazine, offers science-based articles and resources on well-being, mindfulness, and positive psychology, Greater Good magazine Mindful.org a platform dedicated to mindfulness practices and resources, Mindful.org The Chopra Center, provides articles, courses, and tools for holistic well-being and personal growth. The Chopra Center podcasts for inspiration and insights, on being with Krista Tippett, explores the big questions of meaning, faith, ethics, and what it means to be human, on being podcast The School of Greatness with Lewis House features interviews with inspiring individuals who share their personal growth journeys. The School of Greatness podcast The Tim Ferriss Show, a podcast that delves into the habits, routines, and life philosophies of top performers in various fields. The Tim Ferriss Show organizations and communities, Center for Humane Technology, advocates for the responsible and ethical use of technology to enhance well-being. Center for Humane Technology Mindful Schools, offers mindfulness programs and resources for educators, parents, and children. Mindful Schools The Greater Good Science Center, promotes the science of happiness, resilience, and well-being through research and education. Greater Good Science Center The Bryn Brown Foundation, supports research, education, and community initiatives that promote vulnerability, courage, and authenticity, the Bryn Brown Foundation These resources serve as a starting point for readers looking to deepen their understanding of personal growth, mindfulness, and authenticity. They offer a wealth of information, practices, and perspectives to further enhance the transformative journey. Remember that each individual's path to self-discovery and empowerment is unique and these resources can be valuable companions along the way.